Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to create a tape stop effect in BandLab. Double tap on the track header for the audio track you want to add a tape stop effect to. Tap on effects, then tap on the plus icon to create a new effects preset. Now, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Pitch Shift tab. Then tap on Pitch Shifter. Now tap on the Shift text box. Type in zero and tap on Save. Then tap on the plus icon and tap on Pitch Shifter again. Tap on the Shift text box Type in zero and tap on save. Then tap on the plus icon again. Tap on pitch shifter again. Tap on the shift text box. Type in zero and tap on save. Each pitch shifter can change the pitch by 12 semitones but we need about 36 semitones to create a tape stop effect. So here we add three pitch shifters. Now tap on the back arrow, then tap on the X icon. Next, drag your finger across the screen to move the track position marker line to where you want the tape stop effect to start. Here, I will move it to one bar from the end of my sound. Then tap on the automation icon. Now tap on volume. Tap on the first pitch shifter. Then tap on shift. Now tap on the track where the automation line and the track position marker line cross. The shift line probably has just moved. So tap on the dot so it turns red. Then press on the dot and drag it up or down the screen until the pop-up message says 0ST. You can also drag the dot left or right if it's not in the right place. Next, drag your finger across the screen to move the track position marker line to where you want the tape stop effect to end. Here, I will move it right, one bar measure. Now tap on the track so the dot turns black. Then tap on the track where the automation line and the track position marker line cross. Tap on the dot so it turns red. And this time drag the second dot all the way down so the pop-up message says minus 12 ST. Now tap on the track so the dot turns black. Then tap on the automation line between the two dots. Here, I will put it between the third and the fourth beat of the bar measure. Then tap on the dot so it turns red. Then drag the dot up the screen until it says about minus three ST on the pop-up message. Now tap on shift. Tap on the second pitch shifter, then tap on shift. Now add the same three dots to the second pitch shifter shift line. Try to get them as close as possible to the first pitch shifter dots, but you don't have to get them exactly the same. Then tap on shift, tap on the third pitch shifter, and tap on shift. Then add the same three dots to the third pitch shifter shift line.
Next, tap on the automation icon to hide automation. You can move the dots on all three shift lines to change the speed of the tape stop effect. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.